Audio Jungle. right so in gliding like climbing uh, we had seen in last few seasons uh, that derivation and uh, numerical based on the climbing we have solved okay now we'll go for the gliding so as i told you gliding means what gliding flight it is also called descent flight descent Flight. So, gliding means it is like a sinking flight. Sinking flight. Sink means what? It's a loss of altitude. The loss of altitude. Yes or no? that you need to remember now <coughs> we'll draw the diagram for the gliding flight and gliding flight and we'll see the dissolving various forces acting on the uh, aircraft and we'll resolve all the forces okay accordingly so <coughs> Check this is what the case where the aircraft is what gliding. Gliding means simple, it is a descent or sinking flight where aircraft going to lose the altitude. Yes or no? So suppose this is the aircraft here. This is the aircraft here. Okay. And now basically From the horizontal, it is making angle gamma. So this gamma is nothing but gliding angle or descent angle or sinking angle. Fine. Now for this aircraft, we have to resolve the forces, <coughs> we have to resolve the forces. So the aircraft is what gliding means it is moving in this direction, this is the direction of the aircraft now, infinity. So definitely perpendicular to this, we have a lift force, you say this is what lift force okay perpendicular downward this is the weight okay perpendicular downward this is the weight just opposite to the motion we have a drag force okay and opposite to drag we have a propelling force which is called thrust so this is the force okay as we have seen for the climbing we had seen that resolution of the forces along perpendicular and uh, parallel to the thrust and drag okay so along the lift force and along the drag force we have to resolve the forces okay so now what about this uh, <coughs> weight component which is acting in downward because it is the gravity force so definitely it will be the perpendicular downward now you resolve it so what you will get this is the component now what will be the angle this angle is nothing but gamma so what is the component here this will be w cos gamma and this component here this will be w 
sine gamma. Okay. So if you resolve along lift force, so what you will get? Check L is equal to W cos gamma along drag force. what you will get p plus p plus w sin gamma is equal to d now these two equations we have okay now very important for the gliding flight whenever the aircraft will glide one most important thing will happen what is that that engine power will be zero i mean always remember gliding or descent flight like for the glider you might have heard gliding sub uh, gliding if, if sub word if you check it is uh, uh, comes from the glider glider means sometimes uh, if you have visited the hill station and all so they will have a paragliding and all okay so glider what means what it is gliding without power with the structure aerodynamic shape structure that people will jump from the very high altitudes uh, with the help of glider and they will sink and uh, they will reach to surface okay with the help of uh, lip force and all it is it is called uh, gliding okay it is called uh, called gliding all right so that i have to use here for the gliding you have to assume okay thrust component i have shown but for the gliding flight thrust will be zero thrust will be zero okay for gliding flight yes or no for gliding flight so this equation will be now w sin gamma is equal to t this is equation number 3 okay all right all right now <clears throat> remember gliding or descent flight it will be always without power so somewhere need to use here this term okay power power will be off okay so power of means thrust zero power zero thrust zero yes or no that is called a gliding flight this is the assumptions here and it is real also like that aircraft will uh, you cannot say that engine is what switched off no that engine will be adjusted so that it will not generate power or thrust all right so now you have two equation what is that l is equal to w cos gamma what is the gamma gliding angle and second one is check it is uh, d is equal to you say W sin gamma. This is the governing equation. Equation of gliding flight. Got it. Now for the gliding flight.
लूट फैक्टर इफ यू चेक लोड फैक्टर इफ यू चेक वट इज द लोड फैक्टर इट इज एन इट इज नथिंग बट लिफ्ट बाई वेट वट इज द लिफ्ट बाई वेट चेक लिफ्ट बाई वेट इज नथिंग बट कॉस गामा वट इज द लिफ्ट बाई वेट इट इज कॉस गामा यस और नो cos gamma so you know that cos gamma value will be if you check the range it is nothing but minimum 0 maximum is what 1 okay so exactly 0 cannot be possible exactly 1 cannot be possible yes or no if it is exactly zero then it will be the horizontal flight it will be exactly one it means gamma is if it is uh, zero sorry if if load factor is zero it means gamma is 90 so cos 90 zero means perpendicular flight normal flight which is not possible normal uh, take off vertical take off one means gamma is zero so which means horizontal flight that is also not possible because gliding is what it is at some angle na? that aircraft is what coming like this this is the aircraft it is coming on ground with some angle okay so <clears throat> gamma is equal to 90 will not be possible and gamma is equal to zero will not be possible for gliding yes or no gliding means gamma is always greater than 0 and less than 90 yes or no wait this is not correct let me it perfectly so gamma is always ha ah. gamma is always less than uh, greater than 0 and and less than less than 90 yes or no you like right here separately less than 90 for the gliding flight okay less than 90 anyway so <coughs> all right now will have a, just like a climbing we had seen a calculation of climbing angle then you had seen calculation of the climbing rate or rate of climbing similarly here also in gliding flight you have to calculate gliding angle or you can say sinking angle you can calculate sinking angle or rate of sink or rate of gliding you have to calculate just like climbing you had seen similarly same thing you will do for the gliding flight we'll go for the next step so now if you check that two equation you have governing equation see this two equation governing equation you have again you will write what is that l is equal to w cos gamma and d is equal to w and check from both the equation what is d by l check d by l it is nothing but w sin gamma divided by w cos gamma or you can write tan gamma is equal to <coughs> d by l or what you can write drag is nothing but half rho v square s into cd divided by half rho v square s into cl that means this cd by cl this is for the gliding flight okay next what will be the gliding angle then what will be the gliding angle gliding angle is gamma how to calculate check 
what do you got here tan gamma is equal to d by l you got tan gamma is equal to d by l or same thing you can write c d by c l so what is the gamma gamma is nothing but tan inverse d by l or write both c d by c l this is very important value no and gate question they had asked okay many times gliding question they had asked in gate please write it this is very important formula okay question they had asked based on this gliding angle so you should know the formula how to calculate gliding angle okay all right how to calculate gliding angle that you should know now we'll go for the calculation of because what they will say they will say like calculate what is the maximum range in gliding flight or endurance also sometimes they will ask hmm? so one more more thing you can check this if i say maximum gliding angle or minimum gliding angle that suppose this case came so what you will do check maximum gliding angle and minimum gliding angle condition if you get here so maximum gliding angle and minimum gliding angle it comes from the equation directly tan gamma is equal to what d by l if i say when you will get maximum tan gamma so that you can write tan gamma is equal to d by l so you tell me that that gliding angle should be maximum or minimum so how how you would know first like what is required i mean it doesn't mean like every time you required maximum value so you have to check the condition how you will check i will show one diagram so it will be more clear to you okay suppose <coughs> this is the this is the one hill okay hill station you can say now because it is not now a aircraft huh? actually it is aircraft okay but you have to treat it as a glider suppose glider is what here this is what glider now someone is what going to glide someone is what going to glide from hill station to surface okay if you have visited hill station and all so glider paragliding or glider you had seen or you google it glider so you may get it is simple aerodynamic shape some specific structure will be there so that you can achieve aerodynamic shape so that you can get more and more lift and then you directly will hold it and you will jump now someone has suppose jumped from a hill station with the help of this glider it is just like a parachute but it is not a parachute parachute will be always a vertical vertical gliding vertical gliding is a parachute means you jump somewhere and you, and you perpendicular you will go down side that is the parachute parachute is what is like see this is parachute this is what parachute okay someone is here and you hold it and you will jump okay so you will go like this what is the glider glider you will get one particular angle because it will have aerodynamic shape so you can increase your range or you want it to reach some specific place so accordingly you will manage the glider and you will reach that place so people is who is gliding suppose holding it and jumping from a station so this angle you can think this is the angle which is nothing but gliding angle you can say so what should be this angle check this is the gliding angle 
if your gliding angle is what approximate to 90 then what is the mean of it it's just like a parachute yes or no it's just like a parachute this is the vertical vertical line it is just like a glider because it is also powerless. Powerless in the sense, obviously there will be a system. You cannot say it is powerless, otherwise directly it will fall down. I am saying, I am just comparing it. Glider, you may have a, some particular angle, but one more condition when you will get 90 degree landing. If your gl gliding angle is 90 degree exactly, it means it is going to downward directly not uh, perpendicular to the surface it is going downward but in gliding flight you don't want that you have to reach at one specific place so you will have a gliding angle and that theta will not be 90 degree because if it is 90 degree means perpendicular uh, normally you are falling i mean from the surface one hill station to surface if you want to reach so directly you are jumping downward that you are not going to do you are going to glide so you have to fly, you are not going to altitude, you are going to lose the altitude, but you have to fly and then you will reach some particular uh, surface or particular space. Hope you understood. So this gliding, if you are having a near to 90 degrees, so that will be the vertical landing and that you don't want for the glider that you don't want. What you want? You want a... Uh, uh, like a less slope uh, gliding okay which is called less steeper which is le called less steeper uh, less slope okay so that if you jump then you will get a particular place that time you can increase your range also okay so this gamma is what very very less than 90 okay very very less than 90 so meaning is what Gamma should be minimum. Gamma should be minimum. Hope you understood. Gamma minimum means you just check. <coughs> this should be very clear. Don't worry. This is the different different condition. Okay. This is what glider. This is what glider, na? let me draw properly. We have a glider here. Okay, and this is what horizontal surface. This is the horizontal surface. All right, if you check the why I am saying that angle should be less, you will understand directly. Okay. If you are jumping from here with the help of glider, so for this, suppose this is the gamma 3, gamma 2 and this is what? Gamma. Gamma 3 gliding angle is greater than gamma 2 gliding angle is greater than gamma 1. But what happened? See that range. You will cover less range. Uh, this is uh, called R3, R2, and so here R3 will be very less, and then R1. So R1 is what high when you are having less gliding angle. So hope you understood why you want less gliding angle. Why you want less gliding angle even for the aircraft. Suppose aircraft is what flying and due to some reason engine is what failed. Okay, when engine is failed means what power is what off first become zero. It means it becomes glider. So that time what pilot will do, pilot will try to fly or pilot will try to land the aircraft but in which manner, in 
in in gliding way in, and it will be just like a gliding flight and that time it will have a less gliding angle so that it can travel more range and then appropriate place it, it can land if it is it is going to land with highest gliding angle so that time range will be very less i mean it, can, it cannot travel very long distance immediately it need to land at particular place if it is highest gliding path angle so what aircraft will try to do it will try to fly as a gliding flight and that gliding angle must be very less so that it can travel more distance and nearby airport it can land emergency landing i hope you understood this this is the one way now what is the mathematical model for this so for the math mathematical model you can give the triangle which is called adjacent triangle adjacent triangle for what for range altitude and glide path angle okay how to draw it take it's very simple it is this is the suppose glider is here or aircraft is not here now it is going to glide like this okay this will be what gliding path angle gamma this is the altitude from where that aircraft is what going to glide or where glider going to start gliding h and this is what range yes or no so for this how to write the equation simple what you will do you will write check <coughs> what you have i mean that tan gamma you had seen what is that tan gamma is what d by l tan gamma is what d by l you know but for this triangle what is the tan gamma it is h by r is or no h by h means altitude r by range r means range so if you connect this to what you will get h by r what is r it is h into l by d yes or no check r is equal to h into l by d hmm? so r is h into l by d what is the mathematical mean of it h is what altitude into aerodynamic efficiency so what maximum range that aircraft can travel it depends on two things that aircraft from where that aircraft will start to glide that is called altitude if it is very less altitude then range will be very less okay and 
एरोडायनेमिक एफिशिएंसी शुड बी वेरी हाई एरोडायनेमिक एफिशिएंसी वेरी हाई मींस व्हाट दैट एल बाय डी शुड बी वेरी हाई हाउ यू कैन गेट एल बाय डी वेरी हाई विथ वेरी लार्ज विंग ना एरोडायनेमिक एफिशिएंसी मींस व्हाट इट शुड हैव वेरी लार्ज विंग यू माइट हैव सीन दैट सेल प्लेन Now, cell plane is the one example of the glider. Cell plane, there there is no engine and all. They have only wing system. So that wing is very large actually. Why? Because they want very. Why they want very high, large wing? Because they want very high L by D. They want very high aerodynamic efficiency. Why they want very high aerodynamic efficiency? Because they want to fly with a long distance. Means range will be high. Here you can I can tell you. R max is what it depends on two things. Suppose altitude you have fixed, so altitude I have fixed here H. Now aerodynamic efficiency L by D. So for maximum range your aerodynamic efficiency should be very high. So L by D aerodynamic efficiency high means what? When aerodynamic efficiency will be very high? When L by D is very high? When L by D is very high, it it means drag is less and lift is more. When you will get more lift when your Aircraft wing is what very large, so it will get more lift. Okay, for that reason, cell uh, cell plane might you have heard cell plane. Cell plane it is just a uh, one design where there is no power system. It is uh, having only the uh, very large wing. Okay, and uh, uh, that mechanism will be there so that you can hold and it can fly from one high altitude. Then you will. Have a large range. You can fly from one place to another place. One place to another place means H should be there. Means altitude from one high, high heighted place to another surface. You can you can fly. Okay. I mean, for the if you if you check for the glider, you cannot uh, fly from surface to surface because that time H will not be there. Right? Altitude you need. Now, if you say like the same place you have like on ground, and then if you say from the glider you you want to fly, then you cannot fly, because for the glider, if you want to fly, then it should have altitude. Means from high altitude to lower altitude, there is the difference. Now surface level, okay? Then you can fly. Hope you understood this. All right. Now a cell plane, you can yeah, it is minimum drag condition. Cell plane, you can search on it, okay? So you will get the idea about cell plane. Okay, so if I say, what is the condition for maximum range? So that L by D should be max. What is the L by D max? This is called minimum drag condition. This is called minimum drag condition. So that cell plane or that glider should have a minimum drag condition or that aircraft. Suppose there is the emergency landing, and aircraft is like a uh, flying it in uh, in gliding mode. So that aircraft should fly with minimum drag condition. So it will cover maximum range. Hope you understood. This is very practical thing. Okay, I mean this is the practical application. Okay, this is the real time uh, example. I am saying. Okay, real time example. It it happens. Okay, when aircraft engine failed. So this is the condition. It becomes a glider, or uh, it will be uh, flying in gliding condition and. To cover maximum distance, maximum range, they will have a minimum drag condition. Means they should fly in the in this particular way so that they can travel maximum range and appropriate place they can land safe flying. Yeah? That is the one thing. So <clears throat> here R max H L by D max. Okay, this is the one very important formula here uh, you got. If they will say what is the maximum range, then you can calculate, and they can ask question. Okay, how? What is the condition to achieve maximum range for the glider? Then you have to say it should be a minimum drag condition. Okay, it should be minimum drag condition. It should be minimum drag condition. That aircraft should fly minimum drag condition. How to relate this with the angle? Check. How to get? So you got R H. Into L by D max. What is the tan gamma? D by L. 
वॉट यू कैन राइट हियर वन अपॉन एल बाई डी यू कैन राइट दिस वट इज द मीन ऑफ एल बाई डी मैक्स इट मीन्स दिस शुड बी मिनिमम ये सो नो टेन गामा शुड बी मिनिमम देन एल बाई डी मैक्स तो चेक इफ एल बाई डी इज वॉट मैक्स देन यू विल गेट मैक्सिमम रेंज दैट इज ट्रू एंड टू गेट मैक्सिमम रेंज योर ग्लाइडिंग पाथ एंगल शुड बी मिनिमम सीयर इन दिस डायग्राम चेक टू गेट मैक्सिमम रेंज आर वन योर ग्लाइडिंग पाथ एंगल शुड बी मिनिमम सी दिस इज द मिनिमम and this is the maximum right this is very practical what i am saying here in today's session this is very practical okay gliding flight all right so hope you understood the analysis there should not be any kind of doubt you still if you have any doubt you can write messages okay so i will give the answer for it anyway now so range you have seen na no? very important note gate this is asked in gate exam what is important note for the gate important note for the gate is what glider can achieve maximum range maximum range when it is flying when it is flying at minimum drag condition okay minimum drag condition please so you just remember this this is very important note they have asked gate okay there should not be any doubt now Again, <clears throat> what is the minimum drag condition? Separate session I have conduct, uh, conducted for the minimum drag condition. Okay, that you should know. What is the minimum drag condition? We have to recall here only. Okay. <clears throat> what is the minimum drag? Minimum drag. If you go for the CLMD, it is nothing but. CD not by K. If you go for the CDMD, it is two CD not. If you go for VMD, it is two W divided by rho S CLMD. Okay. And then we have EMD. That is minimum aerodynamic. No, no. Aerodynamic efficiency at minimum drag condition, which is nothing but L by D. Okay. Means CLMD by CDMD means it was CD not by K divided by two C. What is the CD not K and all? It is drag polar. okay that you always remember so this this value will be used okay this value will be used here whenever that minimum drag condition will come yes whenever that minimum drag condition will come whenever minimum drag condition will come you will have these analysis okay so you remember formula and this formula should be on your tip because in examination you have to use this directly there should not be any confusion all right very good so that cell plane should operated under minimum drag condition that cell plane or glider should be operated under minimum drag condition to achieve maximum range to achieve maximum range to achieve maximum range that glider or that cell plane should be operated under the minimum drag condition hope you understood this now so whatever here i have told you this is very simple nothing is what tough the thing is you have to go 
okay step by step so it will be